In this video, we will show you the metal discrimination of Velux, as well as the settings used for iron discrimination. We use three different metals in our tests, a modern coin, a nail, and an old silver coin. As shown in the video, the device has three-tone audio discrimination. The lower tone is for ferrous metals. For non-ferrous metals and gold, the device produces two very similar high tones. When you want to avoid detecting ferrous metals, you can turn the iron switch off and enable the device to eliminate these metals and not produce a warning tone. Another setting used in the device for discrimination is the iron discrimination. By turning the iron discrimination knob to the right, you can enable the ground effect to be reflected as iron and eliminate it by turning the iron switch off. Iron discrimination also enables metals containing iron to produce a low tone and to be discriminated more easily. Discrimination starts at about level 4 to 6. Below this level, all metals, including iron, will produce a non-ferrous high tone, and generally speaking, the device will perform at its maximum depth. In addition, the iron switch will not be active below this level. As shown in the video, we set the iron discrimination at level 1. At this level, although the iron switch is off, the device produces a high non-ferrous tone for all metals. Then we bring the iron discrimination to maximum level. Because the iron switch is off, we see that the device eliminates the nail completely and does not produce any warning tone. Even though we can eliminate ferrous metals with the iron switch, it is harder to eliminate some iron metals, such as a rusted nail. As you see in the video, although the iron switch is off, the device produces a weak and erratic sound for the rusty nail. In such a case, turn the iron discrimination knob to maximum and check whether the device is generating a signal. If the device is still giving a signal, set the device to Mineral Mode 1 and check again. If it continues to produce a signal, try Mineral Mode 2 or 3, respectively. As shown in the video, the device will easily manage to completely eliminate the toughest iron metals. You can use these settings also in high iron mineralization, wet beach sand, and wet plowed lands. To learn more, please watch our video titled, Searching in High Mineralization and Beach Sand. Another setting used in the device is the signal audio boost. The signal audio boost switch boosts the sound of weak signals received from small or deep metals, making it easier for you to detect those uncertain targets. It does not increase depth. At position 1, the booster is off. At 2, the signal audio will be higher. and at 3, it will be heard at its maximum.
please note that Signal Audio Boost should be used on a temporary or as-needed basis because it will not only boost the target signal audio, but it will also boost the loudness of ground noise and false signals. Therefore, it is recommended to keep the switch at position 1 and turn it to position 2 or 3 only when you want to verify a weak metal signal and then turn it off again.